Alan Adler. I'm uh, an executive vice president at Streitz Matzes, and I run the daily operations here with my two cousins. Uh, my great grandfather, Aaron Streit, had uh, matzo baking experience in Austria. When he came to America, he had a hand bakery down on Pitt Street with a Rabbi Weinberger uh, in 1915 or so. Then in 1925, he opened up uh, this modern machine bakery with his eldest son. Uh, when the younger son got older, he joined in the business, and then the two sons, Irving and Jack Streit, ran the business through most of the 1900s, and then uh, the three cousins took over from there. It hasn't changed much, much since biblical times. Um, the old Exodus from Egypt, the Ten Commandments, and it's pretty much the same process. It's flour and water only for Passover. Uh, it all gets time to make sure the flour doesn't rise. Um, and, you know, use limited ingredients and lots of rabbinic supervision. For daily matzo, we uh, can add lots of flavorful ingredients. We have Mediterranean matzo with sun-dried tomatoes, uh, garlic, basil, olive oil. We use New York City water. Uh, for Passover, it has to sit in tanks overnight, so it's still water when we bake with it, uh, pursuant to uh, rabbinic law. Um, and basically, it's just un unbromided, uh, unenriched, unbleached flour, you know, just pure flour and good old New York City tap water. Uh, you know, make some of the best baked goods in the world and make some of the best matzo, too. These machines are very, very old. Uh, some of them date back to the 30s, a uh, lot to the 40s. Ovens were redone in the early 60s. Um, hard to get anybody to work on them, almost impossible to get people to work on the ovens. It was a very modern operation in 1925, but after 90 years, it's not quite as modern or efficient as it used to be. This was a teeming, overcrowded tenement uh, when my great-grandfather and uh, his sons were working down here. Went through many iterations of, of different immigrants. It was a very dangerous neighborhood at one point. When I was a kid, my mother wouldn't let me walk around the block. So the neighborhood is, de is definitely changing. A lot of the old Jewish mainstays, uh, you know, have moved. There are very few of us left down here. Um, and unfortunately, we're going to have to be moving as well. We just reached a point where, you know, this old factory could not economically be operated anymore. We tried to put it off as long as we could. Costs are going up, labor costs, health insurance, flower boxes. Uh, one of the other problems is that while computers and everything else are getting smaller, uh, matzo making equipment is bigger. Our buildings are 100 feet long and the old equipment fits in it. Uh, new equipment uh, would take at least 240 feet, so I don't even have the option of buying new equipment and you know maintaining the operations here. So it's sort of a foregone conclusion that uh, we couldn't you know continue baking here anymore. We have a place in New Jersey. We've had our warehouse, our uh, macaroon bakery, our dry pack line there for about 10 years now. So it's not like we're relocating. We're just closing down one of our locations and keeping the other. I've been coming down here since I was a little kid. My mother was coming down here since she was a little child. Um, it's really sad, you know, you've sort of grown up with this. Uh, but time marches on. You know, I tell family members, you don't drive a 1935 car, why do you think a 1935 Matzo factory is going to continue working? Uh, you know, you got to roll with the punches. Um, it will be very sad, you know, when we lock the door for the last time and turn the keys over to a new owner. Um, but it was inevitable, and the decision we'd sort of been thinking about for 10 years, so it was not all of a sudden, hey, we have to do something. You know, we knew it was coming, it was just a matter of time. But it doesn't really matter what equipment we're using, um, I believe we will be able to replicate the flavor, uh, the consistency, of the, the product people are used to, and the Streitz family will be behind uh, the product. I think that the essence of the Streitz family and the Streitz matzo company will continue no matter what oven we you know, bake our matzo in or where that oven is located. Mm -hmm.